Hi, my name is Stefano, and welcome to ABTV News, where we cover all of the most recent and political news. And now, here are your headlines for this week. 50 dead and 53 injured due to a shooting at an Orlando gay nightclub early Sunday morning. A young boy was snatched by an alligator at Disney World and is presumed dead. A local Christian man in Bangladesh was hacked to death at a grocery store. And now let's get to the full stories. Around 2 a.m. Sunday morning, a gunman entered the local gay pub Pulse in Orlando, Florida. What happened next would end up making this the worst mass shooting in U.S. history. 50 people, including the gunman, dead with 53 people injured. Out of the 50 victims who died, 39 were killed at the club and 11 died while at the hospital. The shooter has been identified as Omar Mateen, a 29-year-old man from Port St. Lucie, Florida. Law enforcement said Mateen made a 911 call before the attack claiming allegiance to the leader of the Islamic State, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, but it hasn't been confirmed by U.S. officials whether ISIS was responsible for the attack. And now moving on to the next headline, Walt Disney World closed beaches at its Florida resorts Wednesday while dozens of rescuers searched a lagoon for a two-year-old boy who was presumed dead after being snatched off the shore and dragged underwater by an alligator. Wildlife officials removed five alligators from the water and cut them open but found no sign of the child. A Disney representative speaking on condition of anonymity because the company had yet to prepare a formal statement, said the entertainment giant closed the beaches out of an abundance of caution. Authorities plan to keep looking for the boy. We're going to be here throughout, Sheriff Jerry Deming said. The child had waded no more than one to two feet into the water of the Seven Seas Lagoon around nightfall Tuesday when he was taken from a small beach, Authority said. The Nebraska family of four was on vacation at a Disney World resort. The boy's father desperately tried to fight off the gator, suffering lacerations on a hand, but he could not save his son. Neither could a nearby lifeguard, officials said. No swimming signs were posted at the beach, but the child was waiting, not swimming, said Jeff Williamson, a spokesman for the Orange County Sheriff's Department. And moving on to South Asia, an unidentified man hacked to death a Christian grocer in Bangladesh's northwest on Sunday, June 5th, the police said, amid growing numbers of attacks on religious minorities and secular activists by Islamic militants. Sunil Gomez was hacked to death at his grocery store just near a church at Bonpara village. Shafiqul Islam, deputy police chief of Natur district where the murder took place, told AFP. Another police officer, Inspector Abdur Razak, said the motive for the killing of 65-year-old Mr. Gomez was unclear, but the attack was similar to those on Hindus. Buddhists and other members of other religious minorities in Muslim-majority Bangladesh in recent months. The majority came just hours after the wife of a top anti-terror police officer was stabbed and shot to death in the southeastern city of Chittagong, Bangladesh. Bangladesh is reeling from a wave of gruesome murders of liberal, secular activists and religious minorities. Police say more than 40 people have been killed by homegrown Islamists in the past three years, with a spike in attacks in recent weeks. This has been ABTV's News Bulletin. I'm Stefano, and I'll see you next time, and keep watching American Bollywood TV.